All right, so think about it for a second. How cool will it be if there is an AI installed on your computer that can actually do pretty much everything a human can do. For example, it can go ahead and generate code using an AI tool, open VS code or any other code editor, copy the generated code, paste it, run the development server, fix errors and do all sorts of tasks on its own. Well, we are talking about computer used by Anthropic, the parent company of Cloud AI. So Anthropic, the parent company of Cloud AI has recently announced three new things. The first one is computer use. The second and third is a new AI models. So we have a new and improved Cloud 3.5 Zonet new model and also a brand new Cloud 3.5 Haiku model as well. So we'll go through all of that today in this video and also show you groundbreaking things that computer used by Anthropic can do, okay? So without wasting further ado, let's jump straight in. All right, so this right here is the official blog post from the Anthropic website, and it says introducing computer use a new Cloud 3.5 Sonnet and Cloud 3.5 Haiku models. And if you scroll down, the important thing, the one that I'm personally excited for is this computer use right here. So let's go through and let's see what it is. We are also introducing a groundbreaking new capability in public beta computer use available today on the API. So you can only access it via API and developers can direct Claude to use computers the way people do by looking at a screen, moving a cursor, clicking buttons and typing text. Cool, right? Cloud 3.5 Sonnet is the first frontier more AI model to offer computer use in public beta. At this stage, it is still experimental and error prone and all that kind of stuff. So basically, the computer use is like a capability that the AI has where it can literally control a computer just like a human would do. For example, let's say I want to generate a code on Cloud AI, copy the code and create a new project in VS Code, add it and run the development server and fix any errors if it encounters. I can give instructions as to what exactly to do and computer use feature will go ahead and do exactly the same. Don't worry, I'll also show you a live demo shared by the team. I'll go through the video and you will have like a much better understanding. And not just that, computer use can do a whole bunch of other things as well. For example, let's say you're planning a trip to a particular place and you can ask AI to research for the best places to visit uh, the uh, whatever place that you're going to and find the list. Uh, use Google Maps or whatever Maps application and create an itinerary plan with all the details like time and everything. Create an entry in the calendar for all the details you collected along the way and you can give a prompt similar to that one and computer use feature will go ahead and open a web browser, search for things to do in whatever place that you mentioned, collect the details, open Google Maps, calculate the distances and time it takes and you know create a solid itinerary or a plan and it can also go ahead and add the same to your calendar. So that's how advanced AI has got right now. And here we have a video shared by the Anthropic team and it should give you a much better understanding as to what exactly is this whole thing. So let's see. Alex, I lead developer relations at Anthropic and today I'm gonna to be showing you a coding task with computer use. So we're going to be showing Claude doing a website coding task by actually controlling my laptop. But before we start coding, we need an actual website for Claude to make changes to. So let's ask Claude to navigate to Claude.ai within my Chrome browser and ask Claude within Claude.ai to create a fun 90s themed personal homepage for itself. Claude opens Chrome, searches for Claude.ai, and then types in a prompt asking the other Claude to create a personal homepage for itself. Claude.ai returns some code, and that gets nicely rendered in an artifact on the right-hand side. That looks great, but I wanna make a few changes to the website locally on my own computer. Let's ask Claude to download the file and then open it up in VS Code. Claude clicks the Save to File button, opens up VS Code, and then finds the file within my Downloads folder and opens it up. Perfect. Now that the file is up and running, let's ask Claude to start up a server so that we can actually view the file within our browser. Claude opens up the VS Code terminal and tries to start a server. But it hits an error. 
we don't actually have Python installed on our machine. But that's all right, because Claude realizes this by looking at the terminal output and then tries again with Python 3, which we do have installed on our machine. That works. So now the server is up and running. Now that we have the local server started, we can go manually take a look at the website within the browser. And it looks pretty good, but I noticed that there's actually an error in the terminal output. And we also have this missing file icon at the top here. Let's ask Claude to identify this error and then fix it within the file. Claude visually reads the terminal output and then opens up the find and replace tool in VS Code to find the line that's throwing the actual error. In this case, we just ask Claude to get rid of the error entirely, so it will just delete the whole line. Then Claude will save the file and automatically rerun the website. So now that the error is gone, let's go take a final look at our website and we can see that the file icon has disappeared and the error is gone as well. Perfect. So that's coding with computer use and Claude. Look at that. That's what's possible with the computer use feature from Cloud AI. And now if you want to access the same and use computer use locally on your computer right now, it's possible because it's in public beta. And in order to use computer use right now, click on this link right here, or I will leave links to this in the description below. And it will take you to this page and it will give you all the details regarding Claude computer use and how to use it, how to set up it and all other information. And if you look at the top, computer use is a beta feature. Please be aware that computer use possess unique risks that are distinct from standard API features. So they actually recommend you to use it in a dedicated virtual machine or a container. So as of now, uh, Anthropic does not recommend you try this on your uh, like you know primary computer and giving it access to the entire system okay so that's not something that you want to do you can spin up a new virtual machine or just use it within a container and you can be safe and also you can go ahead and try all that features and i will also leave link to this uh, github repo right here which is the anthropic computer use demo so you can go ahead and clone this repo and run it within a dockerized container or anything and you can start using the same and pretty soon i'll be creating a video trying out computer use on my computer so stay tuned for that one and also make sure you're subscribed so that that's for computer use. And before we wind up, let me also show you another video released by the Claude team explaining the use cases of computer use. So let's quickly watch that as well. We're going to be going through a quick demo today. In this fictional demo, a customer, in this case, the Ant Equipment Company, has come to us and asked us to fill out a vendor request form. The data I need to fill out this form is scattered in various places on my computer. What we're going to do is ask Claude to look at the spreadsheet, check if an equipment is in there, and if not, move over to the CRM and try and find some more information there. Once it has this data, Claude's gonna then fill out the form for us and hopefully transfer the information across to the, the vendor form. The first thing that's gonna happen is Claude's gonna start taking screenshots of my screen and quickly realizes that the Ant Equipment Company isn't actually in the spreadsheet. So the first thing it does is it swaps over to a CRM and searches for the company we're interested in. Luckily, we get a search match and Claude then starts scrolling through the page, looking for all the information it needs to fill out this form. Claude then autonomously starts transferring the information across without me having to do anything. And goes through the steps and fills out all the information needed. Great. So in this example, like the demo, we have a lot of data scattered across different places, like in a CRM, like in a Google Sheet and all sorts of places all over the computer and in the cloud. And now we are asked Claude to refer to all these data like documents and fill out a form. What is this? A vendor form. Okay. Now Claude goes ahead and extracts the data from the Google Sheet, finds uh, details from the CRM and assemble everything together and go ahead and fill the form. So that's how powerful things are and I'm super excited to try out computer use. So yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to show you in this video. I'm super excited about computer use and its capabilities. And are we kind of advancing to AGI real quick? I mean, not exactly AGI or anything, but uh, being having the flexibility to ask AI to do stuff and how it can interact with the computer just like a human would. It's totally exciting to me, honest, to be honest. And yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to tell you in this video. I hope you guys found this video useful. If yes, make sure to subscribe and I will see you in the next one. And by the way, I will leave links to all of these resources and things I shown in this video in the description below. So definitely make sure to check that out as well. So bye.